We're here in North Oxfordshire in a, a live quarry. At the bottom of the quarry is a specific layer of limestone. And within this limestone are hundreds and thousands of dinosaur tracks. So we're here to try and excavate as many of these dinosaur tracks as we can to uncover what animals lived here, what they were doing, and learn more about what North Oxfordshire looked like 166 million years ago. You can probably see behind me, we've got uh, lots of volunteers working. We're trying to uncover dinosaur tracks. These were made more than 166 million years ago. They've now been partially exposed by live quarrying. And now we're here to do the more detailed work to try and uh, dig out the tracks, find the edges, and figure out what animals were here, uh, what they were doing 166 million years ago. Uh, these um, sauropod trackways from the lagoonal system. Um, so it's really, really cool to see them all spread out. A lot of hard work though. We've got um, sauropod hind legs and fore legs together um, in little pairings, and we've got many different sizes. One of the things that makes this site so special is the pure scale of it. This is the largest dinosaur track site in the UK, and actually it's the largest mapped dinosaur track site in the world at this point. And it's not that we just have one or two long trackways, we have lots of long trackways. We've discovered more than sort of 200 dinosaur tracks. Predominantly, these are all from the herbivorous group of dinosaurs known as sauropods. So these are four-legged, long-necked, long-tailed dinosaurs. Most of what we know about dinosaurs comes from their skeleton. But often we find that body fossils and dinosaur tracks are preserved in different layers of rock. So if you consider the two together, it helps us fill in our sort of geological history or our, our history of how these organisms lived. One of the great joys of working at these kind of sites um, is that we literally couldn't do it without our teams of volunteers and particularly our student workers and it's a unique kind of experience for students because this kind of excavation, you just don't get many of these in the UK. Growing up, um, every child I think picks one of three things to enjoy and one of those is dinosaurs. For me personally, it's a really good experience to be part of active research. It's really nice to practically take all of the stuff we've learned in the classroom and apply it to working. Being able to get working in the field like we're doing today, that opportunity is really, really valuable if you're going into site management, if you're going into research in the future, if you're going into pretty much any job in geology or paleontology.